Every pregnancy is a journey, but many women have unknown risk factors that can lead to complications. One third of pregnant women face complications like preterm birth, preeclampsia, and gestational hypertension, impacting both mother and baby's health and leading to staggering costs. But what if we could predict these complications? We need to bring the innovation and technologies um, to our expectant mothers and physicians. There is so much innovation that is happening every day. Women's healthcare needs more of it because the trends are going in the wrong direction. Both maternal and neonatal deaths are increasing in the United States in the last 20 years, which is incredible given how much the United States spends on healthcare. There really has not been a lot of effect over the past two to three decades on things such as decreasing risk of preterm birth. And the problem is, is not that physicians can't or don't want to do anything about it. It's just that we have limited tools. And so those tool limitations are things such as screening. We don't know which patients are going to deliver a preterm. There's been things such as looking at characteristics of patients, looking at socioeconomic status or poverty, race, past history. And those means of screening people have been very ineffective. And because we have really poor screening methods, we really don't know how to narrow down which patients need treatment or not. Understanding and measuring risk in pregnancy is challenging. The traditional risk factors do not pick up all of those who will have complications. For example, 50% of preterm birth is not identified and is not known in advance by risk factors. So therefore, blood testing and some of these invasive solutions that Sarah is bringing forward allows us to understand the risk much earlier in the pregnancy and allow the physicians to administer interventions that prolong pregnancy and achieve better health for mother and the baby. We don't have a good way to diagnose preterm labor up until now, with the exception of history. And if somebody has a history of preterm labor, it's more likely they'll have a second baby early as well. But for those ladies that are experiencing a first-time pregnancy, you don't have any criteria to look at to say you're at risk or you're not at risk until the preterm test came along. This is a blood test offered to mothers. The criteria are simply being a singleton pregnancy, meaning one baby only. We already know that multiple gestations, twins, triplets are at high risk. What we're trying to do is determine if a lower risk pregnancy, assumed to be, is really a higher risk pregnancy that we need to take different action for. And if somebody is at higher risk, a doctor can pay more attention to that pregnancy. The goal is to get that baby as far along in the pregnancy as you can, keeping it healthy. Many patients don't understand how important it is for a pregnancy to get to term. And they would understand that better if they knew what a preterm baby was like. Having a baby early isn't just a smaller representation of a term baby. It's a baby that's not fully developed. At 24 weeks, I started having early uterine contractions and I had to be admitted to the labor and delivery department for a few days. Having that preterm test, having that data point, Dr. Phelps knowing I was at risk a little bit, there was definitely more care involved. They worked around the clock to help figure out a way to stop my uterine contractions. And I was able to carry Ethan to full term. If it's your first pregnancy, or even if it's not your first pregnancy, you could be at risk. It's a small test. It's easy. It was fast. It was quick. The preterm test is a revolutionary blood test that identifies mothers at higher risk of preterm birth early in the pregnancy. This empowers proactive interventions, improving outcomes for both mother and baby, and saving healthcare dollars. This is a test that I believe should be offered because working with the unknown means you're gonna end up with results that might not be the best might not be in the interest of a baby being born too early, 
might not be in the interest of the family this baby is coming into. And the quality of life of a child that is born early is very different from the quality of life a full-term baby experiences. Sarah decided to apply proteomics to maternal and neonatal health first because of high prevalence of preterm birth. That is the key reason why Sarah technology is so powerful, because knowing complications might occur allow the physicians to do a lot more interventions to keep the baby in utero and the mother's belly as long as possible, and every day counts. Reducing that rate of neonatal death in this country, which unfortunately is going up, is what I am after. And this is what Sarah is able to achieve with its preterm test. Now we have a test that allows us prediction, but we also have treatments to decrease that risk. We want to take the unknown out of pregnancies by giving you known things that you can act upon and kind of prevent issues and then protect your family. And this is where I think a test like this and the interventions that we put together may hold a lot of promise for moms and their babies in the future. Don't settle for unknowns. To learn more about the preterm test, visit our website at www.preterm.com.